Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So today, we're gonna to be fertilizing the lettuce here and onion. Now this is far on this side of the bed. That fertilizer will not affect my root veggies over here. It could with this, but this is almost harvestable. As you can see, it's starting to grow pretty, and this is turnip, by the way. It's starting to grow a nice turnip down there. So I should be able to harvest that fairly soon. But you don't want a whole lot of nitrogen for root veggies, but you do for lettuce. Now, I think I made a mistake when I had planted these. You know, I'm new to this and I'm learning. But I'm realizing that to be able to fertilize the lettuce properly, like this lettuce in this row and this lettuce in this row, you don't want them next to your root veggies because root veggies do not want a lot of nitrogen. It'll promote uh, green growth rather than the roots. But being that you harvest the leaves of lettuce, you definitely want to add a lot of nitrogen. This being on this side of the bed, without any root veggies around, it's going to be okay to add some blood meal, which is all nitrogen. As you can see, if you don't know much about it, NPK ratio, we got 12. The first number is always nitrogen. Okay, so this is 12 zero, zero. So that's all nitrogen. I am going to also add bone meal, which is all phosphorus. Now, I'm not adding any potassium right now. I will probably in a little bit. Bone meal really helps with root growth, which is great for root veggies, like over there. But all these natural organic fertilizers take a while for them to start activating anyway. So even if this does end up trickling over and getting some of the root veggies, I'm going to have those all picked before this starts working. So really simple. I'm just going to go along the rows here. I'm going to add a fair amount. This is more than I usually add for anything else because this is lettuce. They, they like it. And I'm going to go around this row as well because I've got uh, onion right there. And onion really likes nitrogen. And then, of course, bone meal as well. It can help the root development, which is always a good thing for all plants. And it's really hard to overdo bone meal. I mean, you can, don't go crazy, but I'm not doing a lot because that's not really what we're trying to do here. We're, we're getting green vegetation rather than just root development. So let's scratch that into the soil. Now, I probably could have added a little bit more, in all honesty, but that's okay. Let's scratch that into the soil. You got to do that because it's not going to start working and breaking down. See, this kind of stuff needs to be broken down by the soil biome. Fungus and small bugs and whatnot will eat this and then convert this into something usable by the plants. So you got to scratch it in the soil for it to be activated. But there we go. So in about a week or two, that'll start working. And it works for a while. It'll continuously give them almost like a like drip irrigation, but a drip of nutrients. So it's a really good way to feed your garden. And so it'll take a couple weeks and then we'll see some explosive growth with this lettuce here. And I'll bring you back for that in a couple weeks so you can see the difference at one point i'm gonna have to thin out this lettuce a little bit but it is a leaf lettuce and not a head lettuce so for instance these are head lettuce you grow them and harvest the whole plant as a head okay this is a, both are romaine types these are leaf lettuce and you harvest the leaves only and so you can actually have them quite a bit closer together because you're you're thinning them out as you go by harvesting the leaves so they're not growing into each other. At one point I will have to take off an entire plant here and there because they are especially like right here and there. They are really close together but I'm going to wait for that and just really make sure I pick the right ones that are the healthiest. Well thanks for watching everyone. If you like this kind of content please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Excuse my chickens in the background there. If you could hit that like button, it really helps out the channel. And I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.